Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how we took $20 worth of materials and created a piece of homemade body armor that was surprisingly effective. So before we get in today's video, let me just say this is not something you want to try at home. Uh, we're only doing this because we knew we could test it safely without injuring anyone. Uh, even though this idea worked for us, this is not something that might work for you. And it's just not a good idea to trust your life in the hands of crappy welding. So to jump right into it, um, we toyed with this idea for a few months after one of our viewers asked if it was possible for your standard guy to just create some body armor that was cheap and effective. So we had a couple of parameters that we needed to fill. One, it had to stop bullets, no shit, right? It had to be cheaper than the plates that are available online because they're actually pretty decently priced. It had to fit inside a plate carrier and it had to have some sort of intelligent design to it. It couldn't just be a giant piece of steel that weighed 60 pounds. Uh, so we ended up with three different designs and our final one was actually quite effective. Uh, we decided to utilize the angled armored concept in order to save some weight. So if you're unfamiliar with that concept, basically what it is, is if you were to imagine this being our armored plate, uh, this is a quarter inch thick, as a projectile comes and it strikes the armor from a perp perpendicular angle, it's going to transfer all of its energy straight through the steel. And it has to travel through exactly a quarter inch because this is the thickness of the steel until it reaches a target. Now if we take that same piece of armor and angle it slightly, we get three distinct advantages. First, as that projectile comes and it strikes the steel, some of that energy is now being deflected in a different direction away from the target. That way it penetrates less steel. Second, now this bullet has to travel through literally more steel because it's at an angle. So if it was a quarter inch such as this plate here, it might be 0.33 inches of steel that this projectile has to travel through. Now that all depends on the angle of the steel itself. Finally, uh, as the bullet hits the armor, it's going to deflect and start traveling at a weird angle. So instead of all the energy coming through the pinpoint of this projectile, it's now gonna be spread over the surface area of let's say the side of the bullet. Now for our final design, we decided to take uh, two layers and weld them together. So on the first layer, we took uh, strands of rebar that were half inch in diameter, welded them together to make a 10 by 12 rectangle. So it's about the same size as your average uh, sappy plate. And on top of that, we took angled pieces of steel and welded them directly to that first layer, which gave us kind of a waffle looking effect. Uh, now this worked extremely well. We tested it against a 22 long rifle, 9mm, uh, 223, and 762x54R, and we found that it stopped all of the rounds. The 22s just bounced straight off the first layer. The 9mm slightly dented the first layer. The 223 punched through the first layer, bounced off the second, and came back out the front. And the 762x54R punched through that first layer, immediately keyholed, hit the second layer, uh, did catastrophic damage to it, denting it, and tearing it apart but did not penetrate. So overall, it seems very effective at stopping projectiles. Now, one thing uh, to conclude from this test is that this wouldn't be something you wanna wear because it doesn't stop shrapnel from traveling up. Uh, a lot of the average uh, armored plates nowadays have a Linex type uh, coating on it that traps all the shrapnel. And with the plate we just tested, all that would be going immediately into your throat, cutting your jugular and probably killing you. So don't try this at home or wear this, obviously. Um, now overall, it was about $20 worth of materials, about two hours of time, I believe, and um, it weighs about 12 pounds. So it's about four pounds heavier than your average plate, so pretty substantial, it's about 50% heavier, um, but it's very effective and a lot cheaper. Now I hope you guys liked the video and I wanna thank the viewer that asked that question because it's very interesting and it was a fun test. If you did enjoy the video, please hit subscribe. It'll update you when we're getting new videos and it's free. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, have a nice day.